right guys here we are we made it live on youtube and on twitch today on the koozie koo channel so shout out to um those watching on twitch or those who are just you know vibing out enjoying life you know because life is good i haven't been here for a while i've been off the radar i moved to malibu i'm living a whole different life i've got an angle off to the side I just started a new job um that's what's new with me and i'm just grateful to be here you know because it doesn't get better than this that's for sure i got a bunch of news topics again to too like for the first we got you know the gain of function which is big controversy if you guys fall on where did this whole virus come from you know and that's a big topic and i hope to delve into it a little bit deeper but we'll see what happens we will see all right following up with that we've got autoimmune answers a new docu-series that's coming out hoping to tackle some of these crazy ideas that you can cure autoimmune disease without meds all right next up we got devon the airbender crazy guy breath of fairianism pop and then we got maha samadhi which is a crazy ancient technique we're gonna get into just slightly it's very deep and heavy but um we'll see what happens and then we're gonna get into the biohack of the day um that's about it so let's jump right into this all right so if you guys know let me turn down this volume all right so basically i'm a big follower of david avocado wolf it's pretty funny kind of does a bunch of things talking about raw vegan diets let's just look up wait who what david avocado wolf he is funny because he's got this this curly hair they call him american author and conspiracy theorist let me pull this up for you guys i guess you can't see it maybe i'll shrink it there you go there he is. Uh, American author and conspiracy theorist. He promotes a variety of pseudoscientific ideas such as raw foodism, alternative medicine, and vaccine denial. That's a heavy thing to say, but um, he's got a lot of fun things. So the way you subscribe to him, you can go to the website, check out his stuff. Spicy cauliflower poppers. He's kind of been stepping away from like a lot of the vegan stuff. But it's all vegan stuff on this thing. So, um, five ways to induce lucid dreaming. Let's check that out real quick. Um, all right, five ways to induce lucid dreaming. One, reality check and recognizing dream signs like Inception. Think of that with the totem, you spin it, and if it keeps spinning, then uh, then you're good. So you can do a reality check, breathing, jumping, reading, vision, hands, time, flying, palms of hands. Yeah, palms of hands, that's what I've always heard. If you look at your hand and it looks weird, it starts morphing and doing some you know all that sort of if you guys can tell in the video some hand movements um which is cool um but yeah let's see is anybody watching whatever um okay so Uh, 
Alright. Take a look at the video. Basic reality checks not available. Menon Menonic induced lucid dreams. Mild is a good way for beginners to start lu lucid dream. Alright. For example, next time I will have a lucid dream. Lucid dream comes you. You always just sort of, I guess you imp implant it in your mind. You, you sort of tell yourself it's going to happen. And when you do it, it happens. Cool. All right. Next up, wake-induced lucid dreams. So, wild. Hmm. Not sure what had to happen there, but I think, yeah, we're still live. Okay, cool. All right, so wild, wake, induced lucid dreams. This is um, more difficult, but it does produce fantastic results. It's a process where you perform at around 3 in the morning, where people naturally wake up at that time so it's easier to try so for wild you gotta relax and try to create a st dream state in the mind while you're relaxing it's important to ignore all the other little annoyances that might be demanding your attention like itchy nose or desire to move your feet and when you feel sleep coming on that is when you create a dream sequence the body is asleep and the mind is dreaming but you are still conscious it's a step by so step. So you guys like my step by step guide wild if you have. Oh, he's so silly. Head turn. Wake up. So fun facts. There was I think it was Thomas Jefferson who used to fall asleep sitting down in a chair with uh, a plate in his hand. So anytime he would fall asleep too hard, he would break the plate and it would wake him right back up. And that would sort of induce a lucid dream. All right, externally induced lucid dreams. All right, so there is a device. Goggles that flash over the eyelids. Let's check this out. Oh, no. All right, whatever. The goggles, and then there's herbs to activate lucid dreaming. So mugwort. Wild asparagus root, valerian root. Those are all brewed in a tea before bed with hot water, and then you can actually have a lucid dream. All right, so that's a great tangent. What I was really trying to get at was gain function and um, basically as a telegram. And that's basically why I follow, besides, you know, all of his health stuff, it's a great source for. C60 or Collade Silver. Um, but let's pull up this. This is a fun little thing. Um, and if anybody is lying here, Senator, it is you. Uh, Senator Smith. Did anybody see that? All right. It's crazy. Maybe I'll pull it up again. Minor collaboration as part of a subcontract of a grant. We had a collaboration with some Chinese com uh, Chinese uh, scientists. And Chinese come uh, and Chinese come uh, and Chinese come uh, come uh, come. Uh. It's not playing it in the window, but whatever. Definitely some bizarre things. The more you look at it, you're like, okay. There you go. DOJ for criminal referral over Fauci testimony. Yep. Pandemic. 
Yeah, I just, you know, like like Wikipedia will say, it's, you know, blatant conspiracy stuff, but I think it definitely gets into some of the more details, and when you see a lot of these things together, you know, like some of the bad effects of all these modern malpractice. So this yeah. is called Luciferis. This is one of the one of the things that they have in the in that in that injection and basically you nearer to that dot reflects it's technology. We just don't know about it yet. So kids kids might think it's funny, but you know there's more to it. All right. That's enough. I, I hate talking about all this stuff. All right. Let's move on to autoimmune answers. And now, I think this was from David Avocado again. But he recommended this fun little video series that's coming up. I'm pulling it up right now. But, um, yeah. So we're going to we're going to probably get into this later on but um where would it go Okay Let's uh let's just watch this And I went to doctors they didn't know what is this Yeah I had uh, muscle pain because it was inflammation in uh spine one doctor to another doctor finally had an appointment with rheumatologist. They did a lot of tests, a bunch of different tests, and they told me that you have rheumatoid arthritis. I just couldn't do anything because all my muscles and all my uh, joints were so painful. Couldn't even, not even stand. I couldn't even turn my head. It's, it's difficult to explain, so, but you can't even see it. You can't do anything. Under what circumstances would they amputate your legs? Or if I would not take this steroids and chemo. We all know that there's this brain-gut connection, but we often leave the immune system out. Getting rid of toxic load will improve your immune function. Hippocrates said that all disease begins in the gut. And we, we see the common trend between this intestinal permeability that you believe is at the root cause for most, if not all, disease. When we deal with health and wellness, it's not just one single thing. Everything is multifactorial. Every organ system has to communicate with each other. Your body has the ability to heal itself, but we have to support the right nutrients to make that happen. It was not life because it's only pain, 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 pain. To know that you will keep your legs, that you're not in a wheelchair. I had foot in just crying. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because I'm really, 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 uh, you know, so grateful. And I'm very thankful to you because it's actually when I have a mom, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Who know who has the answers? Apparently Health Secret does to autoimmune disease. So basically it leads to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's. And we've talked about autoimmune, you know, it's where the body sort of attacks itself and oftentimes there's no real root cause they like to point a finger at aids you know the aids virus which viruses can't be contracted in that manner so have you heard of that i hope i hope that stands out because it's kind of important if you don't really know that the virus is non-contagious. What is it? What's the cause for these autoimmune disease? The HIV virus, you know, it's, it's. All right, so here we go. Your genetics loads the gun, but your lifestyle pulls the trigger, right? 
So you might already be genetically proactive to maybe become an alcoholic, but you you make the choices along the ways and um, being proactive about your own health can make a big difference. So I've seen a lot of people turn a lot of disease around just by changing their lifestyle. So can't ignore the dietary factors. Deal with the symptoms. Rather than investigate the cro- ca- root causes. So talks about the root cause. Disease triggers. Brain health. Repair gut microbiome. Mental health. Pretty cool. I mean, I think it was okay. I was like, whatever. But then I looked at all the people on it. I think the only person I know is Zach Bush. Triple board certified physician with expertise in internal medicine, endocrinology, metabolism, and hospice, and palliative care. Hmm. I'm sure all these other people are great too, though. Chiropractor. Consultant. Okay. Cool. Let's move on. Alright. Next up comes from a YouTube artist that I found from another YouTube artist. And let's let's see. His name is Devon the Black Airbender. And I'm just going to pull up His thing. All right, so this is his Instagram. It's asking me to log in, but I don't feel like it. And Alchemy Breath. That's his website, uh, Alchemy Biohacking. Now I want to save this for the biohack of the day, but we'll get back to it, all right? So, yeah, Devon the Airbender. And let's just watch his most popular video real quick. He's doing it all the time. Sort by most popular. All right, so he's getting into some weird stuff. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. This title is called Funniest Down to Earth Semen Retention Video. Now, there's some people out there that says holding in makes you actually much stronger, smarter, much more better thinking. Now that, we might be on to something. I've heard some things like that, you know. But, um. We'll get into it. Alright, so I don't know if I have time for all that. But, let's do. They're all hour, hour long videos. Let's just get into this real quick. Let's talk about the spine and breathing. Did you know that spinal fluid is affected by your breathing? 
your breathing ry rhythms literally affect your spinal fluid and literally washes the brain. So, there's literally a direct connection to the brain and the spine, of course. So, if you're breathing, if your breathing is not on point, your brain is going to have a hard time washing away metabolic waste from the brain. So, when you have breath work, when you're doing the breath work, and what's really happening is when you're engaging your diaphragm literally back and forth, what do you think is happening with that pocket space? You're literally sending a shock wave straight up the spine and allowing the spinal fluid to flow. Ooh. Flow and create a shock wave, if you will, to excrete any metabolic waste from the brain. Next thing is a great tip before breath work is literally tapping your tailbone. And trust me, like I always, I always say, uh, you can literally look at the spine, it's, it's literally a tesla coil. So that is a great tip when dealing uh, with spinal fluid and a nice tip to do before going into breath work. Tapping your tailbone. Try it. Uh, especially uh, with this tapping your tailbone in alchemy where we utilize the nose the more nitric oxide and ions that we build up and build up and build up and build up and build up this is so good at a faster rate versus mouth breathing and you can literally see the scan it's pretty evident so when it hits the brain a lot faster it's sending a kinetic signal, if you will, to the brain in terms of flush, 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 flushing any metabolic substances or waste. All right, that's about it. But I think you get it. Using the kundalini spinal fluid, semen retention, using the breath is an alchemical solution to breathifarianism, you know? So that, that's it. That's it. You heard it here. Breath of Arianism. So, it's a practice, and it's a thing. And I definitely, um, I've been a firm believer of it. I, I know I've talked about this before on the podcast, and it's definitely doable. And this guy is a new age guy. It's just sort of living it out three years. And I found him from this other girl's YouTube channel. Um, I forget what. We're going to go through my YouTube history. I don't even know if she is. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. Let's move on to the next segment. But I do want to point out Breathfarianism... This guy is the real deal. Check out his channel, Devin the Air Black Airbender. Three years on liquid. Pretty crazy. It says, "Is a video of him, not skinny or anything, just you know, living, living fine." Um, this is coming off eight days of living on just prana, no food or water, two years of 80% liquids, transitioning to 100% liquids since July 7th, 2019, three years on liquids, and the sculpting is slowly, s s slowly, still slowly increasing. Quality breaths, quality cells and muscles to grow and feed off biophotons bio in the atmosphere. The brain and the tongue makes protein, B12, which is actually a bacteria. And get your microbiome up. External protein causes inflammation. 
cells feed off energy and detoxify themselves. Autophagy has proven this. Eight days of prana getting stronger and stronger. Health Coach Kate. In today's video, we are going to be talking about autophagy and five ways to increase autophagy. it with and without fasting. Pretty cool. You heard there. Autophagy. All right. Let me just wash this out with a All right, so this next segment is kind of similar in the spiritual side. Watch another video. It's called Mahasamadhi. I don't know how I got recommended this thing again, but let me see if I can pull it up. But basically, Maha Samadhi, maybe I can play the video that I watched, but it was pretty, it was pretty uh, interesting. Maha Samadhi is a, a technique that has been um, that has been a, a while, you know. I watched uh, this video of a Zen monk attains Maha Samadhi. It's kind of sad, but it's kind of real. And this is Yogananda, which is probably the most infamous Mahasamandi. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But let's just check it out. Years ago, Master had said, when I leave this earth, I want to go speaking of my America and my India in a song about India that he had written to the tune of the popular song, My California. He paraphrased the ending of that popular version with the words, I know when I die, in joy I will sigh for my sunny, grand old India. Once too, in a lecture, he had stated, a heart attack is the easiest way to die. That is how I choose to die. This evening, all those predictions were to prove true. Master was scheduled to speak after the banquet. His brief talk was so sweet, so almost tender, that I think everyone present felt embraced in the gossamer net of his love. Warmly, he spoke of India and America and of their respective contributions to world peace and true human progress. He talked of their future cooperation. Finally, he read his beautiful poem, My India. Throughout his speech, I was busy recording his words, keeping my eyes on my notebook. He came to the last lines of the poem, where Ganges, woods, Himalayan caves, and men dream God. I am hallowed. My body touched that song. <sighs> Sod became a long drawn sigh. Suddenly, from all sides of the room, there was a shriek. I looked up. What is it? I demanded of Dick Hames, seated beside me. What happened? Master fainted, he replied. Oh, no, Master, you wouldn't faint. You've left us. You've left us. The forgotten playwright in me cried silently, this is too perfect a way for you to go for it to mean anything else. I hastened to where Master lay. A look of bliss was on his face. Virginia Wright was stooped over him, trying desperately to revive him. Mr. Ahuja, the Consul General, came over to me and put an arm around my shoulders to comfort me. 
Never, dear friend, will I forget that sweet act of kindness. All right. You hear that? He just killed over. And it's crazy because I don't think that's like... Maybe some people thought that wasn't planned, but obviously it was. He was talking about it all week. He w this isn't the video I was watching, but let me paste the video um, that I did watch. And it's just a lot of people doing this consciously. It's attainment. It's Zen monk attains Mahasamad. This man lays down. And it's sad. Viewer discretion. But he doesn't come back. And then they carry him off. And... Paranica. There have been people. And then there's a procession. In our cultures. Paramahamsa Yogananda sat in front of 700 people, announced that I'm leaving my body now, and he left. This is a nation where there have been thousands of incidents where people have left their body consciously. It is the peak of yoga in many ways. So when people consciously peak of yoga in many ways. Uh, yeah. Look at all those names. So the first one we saw was Prana Bananda. That's the one we watched earlier and I don't know any of these people, but, you know, they're all shapes and sizes and beards and, you know, some people are bald and some people are big and small and happy and, yeah, I'm going to look some of these guys up. I bet some of them. Guru Nanan. Yeah, I think you get it. Alright. Founder of Sikhism. This is the first of the ten Sikh gurus. Alright, cool. So, yeah, Yogapedia defines it as the uh, state of yogi. The state a yogi enters when they consciously make the decision leaves their body is God, once they have achieved God realization, or Nivikamapalamha Samadhi, true oneness and unity with God. Cool. It's a thing. All right. What's going on here? What is going on? I can chat, but it's not streaming. Okay. Whatever. Next time. Next time we'll be streaming live on D Live. Um Alright, so this is taking us to the biohack of the day. This is the last segment. Thanks for watching guys. Let's get into this real quick. Biohack, I'm going to jump back to Devin's um, fun little, you know, fun little gear. This is the Paradigm. Now, I like this. This is pretty cool. Fire Dome, Paradome. All right, so we're going to get into this. Functional Jewelry. Yep, so this is the pyramids. $150. And then there's a fire dome, 197 A miniature fire dome. Vita mid. Let's look at this miniature one. 24 karat gold orgum planted. That's pretty cool. How big is it?
minute and see if I can find some organic peaches. If not, I'm just going to use some regular peaches and I'm going to be doing the pyramid experiment today with peaches. So I'm going to place one peach in the all right, so this baby's going crazy on the floor, but she's talking about doing a, a fruit experiment where she puts the fruit under this gold-plated uh, orgone, and there's some food that, you know, she just got at the store. Some of them are in there, some of them aren't. She's checking out seven days later, just as a test. I'm not sure what she's saying. She's feeling the firmness. Yeah, Can you see this? This is like squidgy, soft all around. Um, and then this is the one that's been in the pyramid. I don't know if you can see that, but it's still really hard all the way around. It's hard. So there's hard and then there's Amazing. soft. <laughs> this is just after a week. Now, uh, it's actually half. Totally hard. I'm actually going to eat this in a minute. Look how good this is. Beautiful. It's perfect. Edible. All right. So, yeah, that's a thing. But then there's, you know, wearing on your head like Devil on the Airbender, which is pretty crazy. But another thing he uses the uh, Prida slappers, which you sort of slap your skin to stimulate blood flow. It's a. Uh, Simpler than yoga and tai chi. Part of alchemy breath work. It's pretty cool. But $60 for one? It's pretty expensive. Wow. Yep. Yeah, his sessions are pretty expensive. They're like... Seven hundred dollars per day. It's got audio book though. I'm gonna have to do the audio book. Air mantras. Eight feet pyramid with quartz crystals. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. We gotta complete the Kundalini snake. And I uh, wish you guys a wonderful night. Thanks for watching. And uh, I will see you soon. I didn't even play my biohack thing. Let me play the biohack on my exit. Wow. Alright, that's it guys. Bye.